somewhere. In my previous video, I had seen what is the Liouville's theorem and extension of Liouville's theorem. In my previous video, I had seen many result about Liouville's theorem and extension of Liouville's theorem. Today, I will see some more exercise based on this theorem, also maximum modulus theorem because previous video I had discussed maximum modulus theorem. At first, I will discuss some result based on this theorem, Liouville's theorem and ex extension of Liouville's theorem. In my previous video, I had seen let f equal to u plus i v be an entire function and if u and v be the bounded then f is constant. I had considered it new function e to the power f z and uh, for v e to the power i f z. Then I had seen f is constant because here given u and v are both bounded. Also, in my previous video, I had seen if there exists m such that modulus of fz greater than m and this is true for all z belongs to const complex number, then f is constant. In my previous video, I had seen this type of example. Today, I will see at first. In my previous video, I had seen if u and v, u or v, both bounded then that imply f is constant. Today I will see linear combination of these two component u and v means if these are bounded that means either a u plus b v less than equal to c or a u plus b v greater than equal to c then f is constant. Today at first I will see this is then I will see more example. Actually, today's topic, today I will discuss more exercise about Liouville's theorem, extension, extension of Liouville's theorem, maximum modulus theorem. Okay. First, I will see this example. At first, try to answer. Then see my solution. What is the solution? See. For this, if we consider zz equal to e to the power a plus iv times f, then this would be e to the power aiv, f means u plus iv. If you calculate, then this value would be e to the power au minus bv. But here, then this part would be e to the power i times this part. But here, au plus bv. So, we cannot take this part. Similarly, if we consider e to the power minus a i plus b times f, then this is equal to e to the power minus a plus i v times u plus i v. Then this value would be e to the power minus a minus a u minus b v. But here a u plus b v. So, we cannot take this is also this also. Then, if we consider zz equal to e to the power a minus iv times f, then this equal to e to the power a minus iv u plus iv. Then this is equal to e to the power a u a a u plus b v. Okay. Notice here z z equal to e to the power a u plus b v. And also this would be e to the power a u plus b v times e to the power i times some part. Here notice a u plus b v. So we can take z z equal to e to the power a minus i v times a. We cannot take this type of function because here the given condition is a u plus b v less than equal to c. I hope my all viewers have understood how we have to create any function. 
by this consideration. Okay. Next is AU plus BV less than equal to C. That means next we have to take mod both side. Then this equal to e to the power AU plus BV times e to the power I times this part. And this part would be 1. So this value is equal, less than equal to. This is less than equal to. e to the power AU plus BV. And this value is less than equal to C. That means this is less than equal to e to the power C. Therefore, mod GZ less than equal to e to the power C. So, this is bounded. Since e to the power a minus iv times a, this is always entered. Also, I have got this is be bounded. So, enter plus bounded. So, by Liouville's theorem, we can tell zz is a constant function. And since zz is constant, zz equal to constant. Since zz equal to constant, that imply if z equal to constant. Okay? As for example, f equal to u plus iv, where u and v lying along the line passing through the point 0, 0 and minus 1, 1. Then the equation of the line is u minus v, that means u plus v equal to 0. Here notice, since u plus v equal to 0, then this is the line and this, this is the u equal to minus v, that means u plus v equal to 0. Since u plus v equal to 0, so we can write u plus v less than 1. Or we can write u plus v greater than minus 1. So the relation here has satisfied. a u plus b v less than equal to 1 or a u plus b v greater than equal to 1. Here a and b both 1. So the, this relation has satisfied. So by this relation we can tell if f equal to u plus iv and u and v lying along the along the line passing through the point 0 0 and minus 1 1 then we can tell the function f is constant function okay i hope my all viewers have understood this is okay next i will see one nice example which had come in csr net exam the question is f equal to u plus iv entire function where u and v are real imaginary part of the function f respectively. Then consider Jacobian matrix at the point A. And the Jacobian matrix is uxa, uya, vxa, vya. Then option 1, f is polynomial. Option 2, f is a polynomial of degree less than equal to 1. Option 3, f is necessarily constant function. Option 4, f is a polynomial of degree strictly greater than 1. Here, this is the Jacobian matrix. And so given this Jacobian matrix is symmetric for all a belongs to C. Since symmetry, that means we can write U x equal to V y. And this is true because for symmetric condition. Also, since F is entered, that means F is analytic. So, this satisfies the Cauchy equation. U x equal to V y and E y equal to minus V x. So, from 1 and 2, we can write minus Vx equal to from here one thing noticeable, one thing wrong. Uh, here for symmetric, 
y equal to vx sorry sorry extremely sorry y equal to vx so by 1 and 2 we can write minus vx equal to vx that means that imply 2 vx equal to 0 and a prime z means ux plus i vx and here I have got imaginary a prime z equal to 0. Therefore, that imply a prime z equal to constant and if a prime z equal to constant that imply f is a polynomial of at most degree 1. So, notice the option. First option f is a polynomial. This is right. But, this is right. f is a polynomial. But f is a polynomial, this is not true for all polynomial. So this option is wrong. For all degree, this is, for all degree, this is not true. Only true, f is a polynomial of degree at most 1. So notice, f is a polynomial of degree less than equal to 1. This is true option. Option 3, f is necessarily constant, this is wrong. Option 4, if is a polynomial of degree strictly greater than 1, this is also wrong. That means only option 2 is a right option. I hope my all viewers have understood this is okay. okay. Second exercise, let a be enter function. And fz over z goes to 0 as z goes to infinity. Then we have to prove f is a constant function. Why? Here notice given limit z goes to infinity fz over z equal to 0. Therefore, since limit z goes to infinity fz over z equal to 0. So by the definition of limit for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists r greater than 0 such that Modulus of z greater than r, absolute value of fz over z less than epsilon. And this is true, this implies modulus of fz less than epsilon times modulus of z. And this is true for all modulus of z greater than, strictly greater than 1. Sorry, r. If we consider epsilon equal to 1, then that imply modulus of fz less than modulus of z. And this is true for all modulus of z greater than r. Since given the function is continuous, because function we enter function and limit exists, so obviously the function is continuous. So by max maximum theorem, obviously the function has a bound. By max theory, that means since a b enter function and function bounded, so enter plus bounded. So. Here, by Liouville's theorem, we can tell the function f is constant function. I hope my all viewers have understood this is in better way. Okay? Oh well. Next exercise. Prove that if fz is entire function, which satisfies the condition f of 0 equal to 0 and f of 1 equal to 1.
that means there exists a constant c such that modulus of fc greater than equal to 2 this example also very easy type question look like many hard type question but this is not very easy type question this is also use of liouville's theorem and i will prove it by contradiction consider there exists no such c then for all z belongs to c modulus of fz less than equal to 2 if modulus of fz less than equal to 2 for all z belongs to c that means the function f is bounded also given the function f is enter so by liouville's theorem we can tell the function is constant but the given condition f0 equal to 0 and f of 1 equal to 1. That means function by this consideration function cannot be constant. Okay. That means our assumption is wrong assumption. Obviously there exists a c such that fc greater than equal to 2. I hope my all viewers have understood. This is look like very difficult type question but not actually. This is actually use of Liouville's theorem. We will see some result of extensions of Liouville's theorem. We all of us know in my previous video I had seen let f be such that modulus of fz less than equal to m times modulus of z to the power n for modulus of z greater than equal to 0. Then that implies obviously f is a polynomial of degree at most n. And we all of us know by this extension theorem if f is enter function and fz if modulus of fz less than equal to a plus b times mod z to the power 5 over 2 then that imply f is a polynomial of degree at most 2. This is the result of extension relativity theorem. Since here 5 over 2 so here dig here the polynomial degree at most 2 possible because factor cannot possible because 5 over 2 means 5 over 2 means 2.5 here factor cannot be possible so only 2 highest degree at most 2 next example second example modulus of f here notice here mod z to the power 1 over 3 less than equal to 2 plus 3 mod z to the power 100. Then if is polynomial notice if we consider sin z function obviously sin z is enter who is is not polynomial. But also sin mod z to the power one third. If we apply mod again, this is less than equal to one. And this is less than equal to one because here modulus of z to the power one third, this value is always real value. So this is less than equal to one. And this is possible only for this mod. So, sin mod z to the power 1 third, here also mod, always would be less than equal to 2 plus 3 mod z to the power 100. I hope my, my all viewers have understood. So, for this inequality, this is not be polynomial, not polynomial. 
many students would be wrong here. Okay? Oh well. Now quickly I will see some example. Who is depends, depends on Liouville's theorem and extension of Liouville's theorem. Question. If f is entered such that f is f omits a non-empty disk, then that imply f is constant. This type of question I had discussed in my previous video briefly. Just as a hint, notice, since f omits a non-empty disk, that means consider f does not assume the value in the disk in a epsilon. If we consider this complex plane and consider this neighborhood N A epsilon here at the point A. Since here in the question indicate F is entered and F omits a non-empty disk. That means F omits this, this disk. That means for a some complex number A and epsilon greater than 0 then that implies absolute value of fz minus a greater than epsilon and this is true for all z belongs to complex number that imply f is constant this i will see next time what is the cassory oesters theorem and picard's theorem next question in if a b entered function if such a exist that real f or imaginary a has no zero then that imply function is constant is it true? If real f has no zeros, that implies real f greater than zero. Now consider cz equal to e to the power fz. Consider. Then modulus of cz would be e to the power real f. And since real f greater than zero, so this would be greater than e to the power 0 and this means greater than 1 and uh, if we apply z prime z then from z prime z I will get a prime z equal to 0 that means f is constant. So if f be enter function such that real f or, or imaginary f has no 0 then that implies the function is constant. Okay. Next if f equal to u plus iv be an enter function and u square less than equal to v square plus 2004 on the complex plane then that imply f is constant. This consider gz equal to e to the power f square z then and f square z means e to the power u square minus v square and e to the power u square minus b square this is less than equal to e to the power 2004 that means since f is bounded that means e to the power f f square z here f not f square z is also enter and since this is bounded so g is constant by Euphilus theorem since g means e to the power f squared z, so that imply f is also constant. Next example, an enter function f such that modulus of f prime z less than equal to 2 mod modulus of f z. Obviously, this is must be of the from b, b to the power a z for some constant a and b with modulus of a less than 2. For this, Absolute value of f prime z over f z would be less than equal to 2. That means this type of example I had discussed in my previous video. This is yeah, if uh, this means obviously f z equal to after integrating this would be f z less than equal to b to the power 2 z. And if we consider b e to the power a z that means obviously mod a less than mod a would be less than less than 2 strictly less than 2 this type of example this type of question i had discussed in my previous video elaborately today 
just as a review this type of question I have introduced again so I will highly recommend you please see the previous video and if you don't see my previous video at first I will highly recommend you please see previous video then this video would be slow clear to understand if uz equal to u x y b harmonic function in complex number and satisfy uz equal to a absolute value of log z plus b for some positive constant a and b for all z belongs to complex number then prove that u is a constant function consider gz equal to u plus i v and f z equal to e to the power g z that means e to the power u plus i v if apply mod both side then this would be e to the power u and u means e to the power b times e to the power a log z and which is equal to consider this is constant if we consider this is b then this would be mod z to the power a so f is a polynomial of degree not greater than a i hope my all viewers have understood this is easily okay oh yeah okay, i will stop here in my next video i will discuss some exercise based on maximum modulus theorem also in my next video i will discuss new type of theorem identity theorem but at first i will highly recommend you please see today's video with pay attention because if you don't see my previous video with pay attention then today's video also next video you cannot understand in better way okay see you soon stay safe and stay positive always and don't forget to do subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much